All right, so the first tool is called the UX case study template. And it's a perfect builder for a case study. So if you want to build a case study, a custom case study, this is where you come to. What you can do is drag and drop elements from the left to right or right to left, whichever area you want. And whatever you want in your case study, you just push you just put in this one list. If you want to, of course, remove something, if you say haven't done sketches, you just remove the sketches. So what it will basically do is make this case study on the right based on what you have on the left here. So for example, user interviews, I did not conduct user interviews. So I'm going to remove user interviews. And as you can see in a second, it removes the portion of user interviews. And apart from that, now you only have all the text and content that you want on the page. And each section has a description of what should come. So even if you don't know what you should put under all these, you, this kind of teaches you that and guides you through of creating your portfolio. Once you've done with this case study, you can of course click on download. And what it does is it allows you to download the template and it downloads it as a PDF. So you can use this PDF, edit this PDF or use it for reference as well. And this cool website called Design Stories has a lot more to offer. There is a design process visualization tool as well. So it kind of visualize all the steps in the design process. And of course you can create a nice little design process chart from here and even include it in your portfolio or case studies. Now this one resource is something that a lot of designers look up to. It's called Built for Mars. And on this website, you get a lot of different case studies for all different kinds of products. So for example, the group listening feature on Spotify, you can check out the case study all about it and how it was built, all the UI design and everything that is needed to get you started with understanding this. So not only will this tool be a great place to get inspiration for your case studies, but it will also help you understand and build better case studies as well. I personally love this Apple Fitness Plus one. It's a complete case study. It has all the psychology behind it. It has a lot of usability inside it as well. Now this one wouldn't be complete without checking out the get a UX audit. So for example, you created a design and you want to improve that design or you want to improve the user experience of that design, you can book an audit. Uh, once you have filled out this form, they will get back to you. Of course, these charges, there are always charges involved behind this. But if you're looking to improve your designs or you want to improve your case study, this could help you out a little bit. Definitely a site to kind of check out and see how you can build better case studies by taking inspiration. Now, this is a really cool template or a case study builder. Now it has these four crucial points, which you should keep in mind. It has eight categories for the most successful case studies across different industries. It has a, gui a guiding questions. Now it will give you these little forms. If which allows you to create content for different sections, really document out your portfolio. So if you're looking to create better documentation, this will help you out a lot. It also includes scripts. Yes. So it also helps you communicate and present your case studies better. If you are in a job interview, this will help you out a lot by helping you understand what it takes and what you should say and when you should say it. And of course, all these references will be from actual designers who got placed in good companies. And this will help you understand what recruiters are also looking for, which in a case study is one of the most important factors. Now UX folio is a hybrid between a website builder and a case study builder. So this tool allows you to create a portfolio fast and easy. So it's a great tool for portfolio websites as well as helps you build a case study. They have a lot of templates that they have available for you guys. And everything that you need is already built in. Things like device mockups, copywriting, they have AI tools or suggestion tools where they suggest what you should be writing instead or how you can improve the writing or the copywriting in your case study. They also have embed features. So whichever tool you use, Figma XD, Marvel, you can quickly just embed those prototypes right here. And if your work is sensitive, legally sensitive, you can't showcase it publicly. You can also have a password protected portfolio or case study in that case. Another cool thing I forgot to tell you guys, it has different sections, pre-built sections. So there's section for user interviews, surveys, personas, user testing, UI design. So different sections have a different design, different structure, and that is how you can build this website. Now, format.com has this really cool 
uh, case study builder or portfolio builder and inside this what i really like is that they've explained all the steps you need to take or all the things you need to take into consideration when building your case study things you should remember things you should definitely include and it really kind of tailors it alongside its tool which is i think really cool again a really cool website builder tool alongside helps you build better case studies but because it has a lot of templates for both designers photographers fashion designers whatever it is they have stuff for you and it's ready to build now any video of mine would be incomplete without introducing figma resources so here are some figma community files that will help you get started with your portfolio and case study websites the first one is called portfolio ui web and mobile by teen joe thomas i hope i'm pronouncing that right and it includes a lot of cool elements right here it includes a responsive layout for your portfolio assets and for your portfolio website not only that it also showcases how you can lay out a case study so if you're building a case study it will show you what you should include how you should include it and it has a lot of space for it as well again a simple thing but can make a huge difference if you create a nice and clear website like this now this next one is a proper case study template where you can actually build or design a case study i think it's a very clear and very clean case study template it has all the things you need title of the project the challenge or problem statement goals research analysis user personas flows concepts visual design and prototype test validation usability challenge and conclusion now a lot of people ask questions about how can we improve our case studies how to create a better case study or what to include in a case study this will kind of not only go through all of that but also show you better ways of visualizing and portraying things with all the explanations needed as well here i love such templates which you know explain things and really take you through the entire case study structure again a huge thank you to dharmi for providing this uh, you can quickly duplicate it onto figma now we always need some good examples to check out and see how say a popular app works and what is the case study of a popular app now spotify does not have a complete case study out there it has bits and pieces however the company that worked with spotify called muse has a public case study published out here they of course have created an amazing video where they're explaining each and every segment of the case study each and every step and process that they took to make spotify what it is once you go through you see all the amazing things that they've done with spotify the changes they made the process or research they did to actually make those changes come true and of course all of that is in video format as well i hope you like that short video i post such content every monday and thursday if you don't want to miss out make sure you subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon and if you like the video hit the like button it really helps me out i'll see you next time same place same time till next time take care god bless